What is going on, everybody? I am chef and health coach Adam Potash. It is a little past 7 p.m. on Monday night, and this is Cook It Up Live. What's up? Thank you guys for joining me. Again, I am chef and health coach Adam Potash. It's just past 7 o'clock on Monday night. We are here, Cook It Up Live. We have some friends here, as usual, here in the Potash house. Uh, Andres from OMG Flowers. You want to say what's up? Say hi. What's up, guys? That was very cute. Uh, he brought us a very beautiful rose bouquet here today. You want to pan over there a second? Awesome. They got two locations, right? One in West Pointon Beach, Gateway and Doug Road, and the other one on Meister Park on Corazon. All right. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you again for the flowers. All right, we got a fun uh, meal today. We really just threw together. We're going to do some fajitas. Always fun for the whole family. Kind of a, uh, you know, obviously the taco night. Usually it's Taco Tuesday, but we had all these ingredients in house already, so we're going to throw this together. Um, I'm going to show you real quick. We're going to get started with the chicken. You can obviously just keep this as a veggie fajita, um, but I'm throwing some chicken together for about half my family, and then Elise and I will do the veggie fajitas. Um, so all I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to season this chicken, a little salt, pepper, a little garlic, and I'm also going to hit it with a little cumin. And a little chili powder. And last, I got a little taco seasoning in here. And that's about it. So I'm going to season these chicken up real nice. I got my pan on high, a little olive oil. How are we doing, Elise? Good. Good? How was school today? Monday. Monday. Typical Monday, right? If you're not going to school, you're going to the office. Still a Monday, right? Yeah. <laughs> Midterms. Elise just got her, prog was it a progress report back? No, that was like the certificate from the first quarter. Gotcha. Gotcha. And you did pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right, so this is heating up. I'll tell you about a little some of the ingredients I have here. Before I go into that, always, I got to plug the book. If you guys don't have one by now, we just got a new shipment in. Uh, the Secret Ingredient, $21.95. You can pick that up on my website. I believe my website is live. It was live yesterday or the day before. Then it didn't. They were still working on it a little bit. So keep on checking. Really cool website I got going on now. Uh, lots of information. Um, so check that out, adampotash.com. But you can always DM me or PM me and pick this one up. Uh, the Secret Ingredient, over 100 awesome, healthy recipes, tips and tricks places for notes, uh, just some fun information in there. Very cool book. If you guys don't have one, I highly recommend it. Um, pick one up. You can always find me and I'll, you know, get one to you. All right, so we're using a, uh, corn tortillas. So this is going to be gluten-free. I got some peppers, some zucchini, corn, onion, and black beans. What we're going to do here first is we're going to sear off our chicken. Number one, it's going to give us some nice flavor in the pan. And that's going to take the longest to cook, so we're going to get those going. I got my oven on 350, so we're going to sear those off. I'm going to bump this oven up here, 375. Give those some nice color, then we're going to pop them right in the oven. Once that's going, we're going to use that same pan to saute some of our vegetables off. Um, what other announcements do I have? Meal service. Uh, meal service has been going crazy these days. Uh, we've become really popular over these last few weeks. Yep. The site Eric Suarez wants to know. The site for my new website? 
It's adampotash.com. It's the same, the same website, just all new format. Uh, I hired a new company. They have taken control over it and doing an amazing job. Again, it was on the other day, then it went off. They were still working on some, some glitches, and it should be back on. So check that out, adampotash.com. It's just got a ton of information on there, all about me, all about my um, farm fresh meals, and all about my health coaching, my eight-week transformation program, all that good stuff. So definitely check it out. If you have any questions, you can always hit me up, PM me, DM me, send me an email. I get back to people really quickly. Uh, I'm always on my social media just checking in with people. Um, this week there was this big con controversy on organic beef. I had a post on organic beef, and um, it was just funny, the back and forth on... My question was, what is organic beef? And so people chimed in all week to kind of give us their input on what they thought was organic beef. Can we show the audience also how to share again? Go for it, as these are searing off. You got it? Oh, you're showing the chicken? So I'm just searing it on each side right now. So I'm just searing this chicken off on all the sides. I'm going to pop it in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. While that is cooking off, I'm going to hit this with a little more olive oil, and we're going to start with our vegetables. Again, fajitas are pretty easy. Um, main part is getting that chicken seasoned off right. So let's start off with our peppers. Those kind of take the longest. And we're going to season each part of the way with these three main seasonings. A little salt, a little pepper, a little garlic. And at the end, I'm going to hit it with a little cumin, a little taco seasoning. We should be good to go. Hit it with a little olive oil. How you doing, Leah? Good. Yeah? Yeah. How was school? Good. Yeah? Yeah. So you got to dress up today, huh? You want to go sprinkle some garlic? Show your pretty dress? Oh, how funny. No, you're shy? You're not on camera that often. Oh, I'll go with you. <laughs> oh, you're the daddy. Don't be scared. Show how you sprinkle. Okay, so what do I do? You want to take a little pinch? Yeah. Up high. Up high. There you go. Good job, Leah. Nice. All right, you want to throw this in there? We're going to throw a little zucchini in there. And again, I just had this, so why not throw it in? Throw in some onions. Beautiful. All right. Thank you, Leah. You're welcome. Very important to get your kids involved. A hundred percent. Swanchi is watching from Miami. Miami. As always, each week we give away a book to the furthest viewer. So far, I guess it's Miami, right? Yeah. If you guys can smell this at home, it smells delicious already. Nothing beats a little caramelized onions, caramelized peppers. Again, I'm just using a little olive oil. So I was talking about our Farm Fresh Meal service. If you guys have any questions, any information that you need on the Farm Fresh Meals, um, it's really blown up. Um, I'm really blessed uh, to be getting people involved and getting people eating healthier, like my man Andres over here. Starting today, so he's he's going to be a testimony to how the meals work. Go ahead. You want to show them my belly? You want to show the world your belly? Show the world. And then, Please do. I'm gonna see in a month from now. I'm gonna lose what? 20, 25 pounds? Yeah. <laughs> so I got a pretty nice belly. You now having twins? Is it I'm twins? A little sexy, a little sexy right? <laughs> I'm but it's all gonna be going in about what? 30 days. It's going to be gone in 30 days. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're beautiful flowers again. <laughs> uh, so Andres is fed up. 
with uh, his belly that he's got going on, his winter belly. What, what are you guys laughing at over there? Oh, you're taking a picture? You took a picture? Nice, nice, nice. He's going to take a picture. Uh, so he started on the farm fresh meals today. So, so you, Andres, you had your first meal today. How do you feel? I feel energized. I feel amazing. I feel light. Yeah. Right, don't you? I, like, you, I, I have to eat both of them today. I just ate one yep. the first time here. So you had lunch and dinner. Yeah. Um, and you feel great. Like you feel like you have some energy. You're motivated. You're not bogged down. No, I feel good, actually. Really do. Looking forward for the next 30 days of my life and then continuing in a healthy path. You know? Exactly, exactly. So. Now, I'm looking forward to joining, uh, joining you on this. And Andres is a bachelor. <laughs> Are we a date? We're, da- we're going into the dating show now? We're on your speed date. So nice, nice. Taking nice. applications right now? Taking applications. I don't think nobody wants to do business. Business owner? Biz- yeah, big time business owner, right? All right, well, that's going. I'm going to just chop up some of these tomatoes I had here. I'm actually going to make a nice fajita salad, I think, for the uh, for the, our, our presentation. What do you think, Elise? Should I make, like, a fajita or, like, a fajita salad? A fajita salad. A fajita salad. I think so, too. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm just giving these a rough chop. Again, I, all this stuff I kind of just had on hand. I went to the fridge, and I was like, what can I make tonight? And this is what I came up with. So there's always something. Um, I love doing this, just using kind of what you have on hand, not going shopping for anything, and, and creating something out of nothing. That's what it makes uh, cooking fun for me. Georgia's picking up the scraps. Oh, thank you. Am I live? You guys got a good picture up there, Lee, of the fajitas? What it's coming out to be, looking good? Look at that belly. You guys still laughing about his belly? Were you even pushing out there? That was just you, huh? This was me being belly fat. Wow. Cat watching today. Hey, Kat. What's going on, Kat? Uh, if you're just joining me, we're doing a little chicken fajita. Uh, kind of a chicken fajita salad. Um, what we have in here so far is I have some peppers, some onions, some squash. Uh, just sauteing it up with a little salt, pepper, garlic, a little cumin, a uh, little red chili flakes, and a tiny bit of taco seasoning. So, got a little avocado here. We're going to top our fajitas with a little avocado. One of the best things for you. It's a superfood for sure. Little me... right? Yep. Exactly. All right. So I'm going to just scoop this out. And you can do so many things with um, avocado, right? You do the, do the toast. Oh, those are, yeah, I like the avocado toast for sure. I did it I did it last week. I actually put a little crab on it. A little, it was a little fancy. A little fancy. I'm going to just hit this with a little lime. All right, this looks great. And mommy's hungry. Mommy's hungry. Mommy had a long day at work. Mommy only had a salad today. What kind of salad? You have one of my salads? Fresh meal salad. Those, uh, there, all right. there, there you go. Salad. There you go. I was waiting for that. Everybody's on the farm fresh meals. Um, all right. Speaking of, we got our labels today. Nice, nice, nice. All right, these are going to take a few more minutes. Hey, guys, don't forget, you can pick up those meals at... Juice Buzz. We're plugging Juice can, Buzz, right? Yeah, they can order them from you directly. Make a quick stop. Definitely. So Juice Buzz here in Delray off of Atlantic Avenue, they're carrying our stuff now. We have a few more places popping up here within the next month. They're going to be carrying our meals as well. So uh, once they start, I'll definitely plug them and let you guys know where they're at. Uh, but, again, it's been, it's been great. Uh, again, I'm blessed that... People are getting on the bandwagon of being healthy. If you guys want more information, again, just hit me up. I have been known to give a few uh, friends and family discount. Right, Andres? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, no, 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 no. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go that far, no. Uh, sorry about that, Andres. I know. I got your hopes up. We have four kids. Uh, 
No, but I've definitely been, you know, giving some friends and family discounts. So I just wanted to get really, uh, you know, people healthy um, all the way around. So that's my main objective here. And people are eating well, feeling better. So it's been awesome. Again, if you're just doing, doing a organic chicken and vegetable fajita, I just got some onions in there, some peppers, some squash, saute that up. I started with the chicken, so I want to get this pan flavored with that chicken. All I seasoned that with was some little salt, pepper, garlic, a little taco seasoning, a little cumin, and that was good to go. Once I seared off my chicken, it went in the oven. Um, and we're just waiting for that to finish cooking. I'm going to throw everything together. I'll get my plate ready, I guess, right? Yeah, you know what? I love when you show them how to... Saute. So I haven't talked about that. I haven't talked about that in a long time. In the beginning, a year ago, I used to talk more about that stuff. So sauteing is really just forward and back. Um, a lot of people like to go up and down. and doesn't work that way. A good way to practice, you can put some dried beans in the pan or some rice. And kind of go back and forth that way, and you get a feel to how to do it. So um, just back and forth, let the pan do the work, the curve of the pan, and that's the best way so you don't like mush everything together. It kind of just folds on top of each other, so definitely. Oh, this is looking great, huh? Mm -hmm. um, and also, the book again, can we go back to the bookshop? You want to go for um, it. You can... I'm not looking at it right now. Oh, well, it tells you like how much time things will take to cook. He also right. has really cool like quick fixes on here, um, quick references. We have really cool um, pantry basics that you should definitely have to make your life easier when you're in the kitchen. And don't forget, always the, the secret ingredients always available for you guys. Wow, you sound so good. <laughs> All right, so I'm just heating up my tortilla here. The chicken should be done any minute. Uh, Mary McMullen's in the house. What's going on, Mary? How's everything going? Christopher Porosky and Alex Suarez. Awesome, guys. If you guys have any questions, Cindy and Elise and Andres are all behind the scenes. Get ready to get some questions to me. If you guys have any questions about the health coaching, about the meal service, maybe you want to know my, my uh, astrological sign, I don't know. I'm here to help. What do you want to... Your and Leah's behind the scenes too. Everybody's behind the scenes. Little George is behind the scenes. Um, all right. So this is finishing off here. I got this heating up. I'm gonna throw my tortilla in there, and we're gonna get ready to play here real soon. What else going on? Any other announcements that I'm missing? Dave Matthews is playing. Chef's favorite. Some game. trivia, right. One day when I get famous, that'll be a trivia question, right? Yeah. All right, so just heating up that tortilla. Um, again, fun, easy meal for the whole family. Um, even if it's just a couple of you, these are just ingredients that I had in-house um, that I typically have. You know, you have some canned corn, canned beans. Typically, you have a tomato lying around somewhere. Um, you know, some onions, some peppers. This is such an easy go-to meal. Um, all you typically would have to do is pick up maybe some tortillas, um, something like that, and you're good to go. So definitely an easy meal. Yeah, Elise. Oh, I just had a random question. Yeah. Should you put tomatoes in the fridge or in, like, out? Of the fridge? That is a great question, Elise. Did you just think of that all on your own? So, so typically, wherever you would purchase that item in the grocery store is where you want to keep it. Um, for our sake, I mean, we go through things so quickly here. We don't, we're always constantly shopping and things like that, so we definitely keep everything out. If you feel like you're going to keep something maybe longer than, uh, than a few days and throw it in the fridge. But typically, if you get it in the store and it's out in the open, just keep it out in the open. And again, I always like to tell people, purchase for what you're using. Uh, and that way you kind of get to save a little money too, and you don't have as much waste. So we plan out our menus here in this household, and we go shopping all the time, but we go shopping for those meals and get everything pretty fresh. So. And if you had to round up, how much do you think you save going to your local market versus, like, let's say, not the trash public, but the big commercial? Uh, probably the 25 30%. Of your bill? Yeah. All right. 
So hopefully that chicken is almost done. Let me take another quick peek. Um, I got these tortillas kind of heating up here in the pan. You got that picture? Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, let me take a quick peek in here, see how these are doing. Hopefully they're done. Um, so that was a great question, Elise. Very cool. They can need another minute or so. So I'm going to put this back on the tray. Just another minute. I'll cut this one too and lay it back out there. For the fajitas, I like doing the whole breast instead of butterflying it. I just like to keep that moisture in a little better. Um, if that makes any sense. Uh, sometimes your chicken will dry out when you butterfly it and make it thinner like cutlets. How are we doing, guys? You guys are all quiet over there. We're just the smell. We can't oh, the smell. It does smell pretty good in here. Oh, the spices made chicken. <laughs> Hi, Jacob. Again, if you're just joining me, little chicken fajitas. We got another minute on that chicken. Um, I got some peppers, some onions, some squash. Sorry, some zucchini. Um, just kind of fried up a corn tortilla real quick. And we're going to plate this up here in just a second. We're going to make a little salad out of it. Nice salad. You guys can do this at home. Just give you some different ideas. Uh, let me grab the cilantro real quick. Sorry, Elise. I thought we had cilantro. No? No. I thought we had a bunch of it. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So that chicken should be almost done. That's Jacob. You got any drum set, everyone? Oh, yeah, that's the best. Thank you, Mom, for the drum set. Great gift. <laughs> How you guys doing? How you doing, Ava? You haven't said hi yet. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? Inviting You're inviting people? You're such a good daughter. Hey. You too. All right, so we're going to get this plated here. By the time I finish this, this chicken should be done. So I just fried up a little tortilla. I'm going to add just a few of these vegetables on top. And we're going to make this more like a salad than a handheld. Just having some fun with it. Doing different things. Right? Have fun. No rules here. We're going to take a few of these chicken slices. Fan this over on top. Look how that's coming. We're going to get a little bit of the tomato. Right on top of that. It looks beautiful. A little bit of the corn. A little bit of the black beans. Right on top you want to go with this. And let it, a lot of viewers. And let it, and let it, now we got a lot of viewers as I'm plating up, huh? And let it fall where, where you want it to, you know. Don't really kind of control it. Just have some fun with it. I'm going to put some of this avocado right on top. It's been hard to get those avocados lately, huh? Yeah, they have been a little tough. I'm going to top it with a little, little seasoning. Some chili flakes. Hit it with a little cheese. And we'll 
finish it off with a little cilantro sprig here. How's this looking, all right? Shoot it with a little lime. Put it on the side for a little presentation. And there you have it, guys. Doesn't get much better than that, huh? Looks great. I'm hungry. <laughs> um, and that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here. It is Cook It Up Live. I am chef and health coach Adam Potash. Um, really nice chicken salad, fajita, I guess you could call it. Um, you know, here we got some grilled chicken I did in the pan first. We sautéed our onions, peppers, some zucchini, uh, topped it with a little corn, a little black beans, a little avocado, tomato, cheese, hit it with a little lime, and there you have it, guys. Not bad meal for some stuff we had in our house. Ready to go. All right, guys. That's all I have today. If you want more information about Farm Fresh Meals, about my book, about health coaching, adampotash.com, DME, PME, this is Cook It Up Live.